Greetings everybody, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at the candle wax on the water. We are going to look at the messages from social life, friendships and love. I was going to do a love reading to be honest, but I didn't feel like it. Not because there's no love or anything. I felt like I have to do something a little bit more than that. Apparently there are some messages that are supposed to come to you that are not just like fully love messages, but it is like related to the friendships and the people in our lives one way or another. That is why I want to keep it broad as much as possible. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. Let me give you enough of time so you can meditate on my balls. I will start with this one. Hello number one. How is it going? I hope everything is fine. Let me pull some water. It looks alright. Let's start your reading. What to expect when it comes to love and friendships and what is going on behind the scenes. Okay, there's an evil eye when it comes to the friendships and everything. There's a... Supposed to be a friend, but they are... Mm -mm, they are gossiping. You're gonna hear about that gossip. Like, why this person is talking behind me in this way? You're going to contemplate on it and you're going to figure it out why. It's gonna be easy. Yep, it's gonna be easy. Like, oh yeah, that's why. That is why. There's a friend who is not living nearby. You can hear from them. Like a phone call, a text message, something that is going to come from them. And you're going to feel happy about it because maybe it's a long time that you didn't hear from them. Yep. Do you mind waiting for a second? Okay. It's kind of too light, isn't it? I felt like it. You know, I felt it so strong, like someone is just like, yeah, tell me more. But they're not listening with like the good intentions. You're sharing your ideas, opinions, and maybe dreams, maybe your connections with other people, but they're not listening with like a really good heart. They are listening it with like ill intentions. I think you're going to be tested in the near future when it comes to the friendships and gossip why people are acting in this way. Please be careful with the people that are so eager to listen like what's happening in your life. Not because people cannot be interested with you or in your life like what is happening with like the genuine intentions. Of course they can be, but something is off in here. I think you're going to feel that. I saw a jazz club. I am seeing jazz related messages so much in, in the readings recently. I don't know why. Like a jazz club. People who are gathering there maybe. Listening some music. In that place, something is like going to show itself. Like when you guys are going out, something is going to show itself. Love-related messages, what I can say from the beginning. Some of you are expecting a, any kind of a message, any kind of a progress, but it is not happening. There is a reason for that. There is a reason why it is not happening. It's not just about two people and their intentions and their feelings. It is more than that. It could be anything, honestly. I'm not going to read it as like other people are being involved doesn't have to be like that. But you know, the priorities can change and things that we have to do in our lives can actually put us down and our expectations. Like you have to do this first and then maybe you can think about the love. That kind of a feeling is a little strong. I saw a place filled with students you can be a student or you can be the teacher, I don't know. But a lot of students, like there is a classroom I see. Could be a college, an amphitheater. A lot of people, a lot of students. If you're a student and you're going to the college and you're dealing with your own business and everything, 
I think someone is going to look at you from away, you know, afar. They're going to look at you, but they're not talking. Somebody, somebody else, I mean, is going to figure it out. Like, okay, why this person is looking to you like my friend? They're going to say something like that. Your friend is going to figure out that like somebody likes you. They're looking at you. You are not seeing it, but they will see that. And it will be some kind of a conversation, topic of the conversation. Your friend doesn't want to intervene with your love life. Maybe they did before or maybe they feel like it is wrong. It's not like them to do that. They don't want to say too much about this person and why this person is just like looking at you. They don't want to be involved. That is why maybe it is going to take a little time for you to understand like what is going on fully. And when you realize it, like you're going to ask like why you didn't tell me before and they're going to explain themselves to you. They don't want to be involved. All right. I saw a hospital. In this hospital, doctors are talking. You can be one of those doctors or nurses, like the people who are supposed to take care of other people. They are talking about the subject. Not in a bad way. It is not a bad talk. It is not like a bad conversation. They are just like talking about a social gathering, I guess. Maybe like a picnic, something like that. They are planning on. Like some kind of an event, like let's do this all together. And somebody in that group is so excited. They're going to be so excited to hear that, oh, okay, there's a group event. So because they can spend more time with the person that they like. And they're waiting for that kind of an opportunity. Love is waiting for the opportunity. That's what I felt from the beginning. You know, conversations are waiting for the opportunity and time. Like, at the right time. They, I don't know why people are so afraid to make any kind of a mistake when it comes to talks about love or, you know, even that person likes you kind of a talk. You know, they, are, they would like to say that, but they don't want to get involved because of any kind of a misunderstanding. Like, people are just, like, waiting for the right time. Don't push it. Don't rush it. But there is some kind of a love and connection. But it is waiting for the right time. So if you're single and if you're waiting for somebody to, you know, come into your life. Maybe other readers told you, like, you're going to meet with somebody immediately. Someone is getting into your life immediately. Maybe that was the energy before. But now it is just like, hold on. Okay, it is going to happen, but just wait for a second. That's what I felt. I'm not saying that they lied or anything, no. That was the energy before maybe, but now, don't rush. Hold on a second, what is going on? There is some kind of a reason why they feel in this way, like, okay, don't push it now. Why they are feeling in this way? It could be different for everybody, of course. Like, I didn't feel it's all about, like, the other people. Like, for arguments, like, you have a relationship or you already are flirting with someone else and they are waiting. No, it's not like that. Or, you know, they have somebody in their lives and they want to do the right thing and they just would like to wait. No, I didn't feel like it. This is not about the other people. It's about the timing and opportunities. They want something to be nice and maybe even unforgettable. But it sounds a little too cliche. Maybe it sounds a little too boring even. They, want, they would like to see a good situation so they can act on it. And I think it is going to happen, yeah? It will happen. Do you know why? Sometimes intuition talks a little bit louder than the actual life. They feel like, okay, I need something better to happen, and they wait for it, and it is going to happen in that way. This person can be really intuitive. You can be even too intuitive, like, connected to the soul, 
but there's some kind of a negativity around the friendships like a friend circle there's a person who is not really that honest why they are in that way i would like to know that why they are feeling like i'm going to listen to everything they say and i'm going to use it against them why they feel like it this person is like it, this person is not a bad person doesn't have any personality situations like negativity anything about that but I think it is a phase for them. They would like to figure out their own life and they cannot. And they are reflecting that on you and your situations. You know, this person can say such things like, we are not lucky in love. We don't get what we want from life. Like we, no, not, not, not we, you maybe, maybe you feel like that. But it is not the reality. This is not like a full situation. Like it, it doesn't happen in that way. Why are you just like thinking this negative and putting me into it? Like we. No, I get the things from my life. You're going to feel like it. Good or bad? Slow or fast? I feel good at the end. I don't feel like we are... Like the broken ones, we are the unwanted ones. Maybe they are watching a little bit too much of this incel shit. Or femcel, could be in that way too. You know, women don't like us because the system is in this way. No, not really. about the influence that they are receiving around the life, like what they are watching, what they are reading. They would like to believe in this way because it would be easier for them. But why they are dragging you in? And they are listening wholeheartedly, whatever you are saying. They are listening so eagerly, like, but not with a good intention, not like, Okay, you proved me wrong. It is not like that. Life is not like that. They are not listening it in this way. They are listening it so they can use it against you when the time comes. Like maybe you're talking about a girl that you like, okay? And they're listening it fully. And then for argument's sake, this relationship, this flirt didn't work out for you. You guys realize that it's not really compatible with each other. They will come up to you and they will say, you see, this person didn't like you because of this and that. But it, in fact, it was not the situation. You had the conversation. You are the one who was having the conversation. It, you didn't feel anything like that. But this person is just like, you see, this person is bad. They don't want you. They don't want us. They don't want people like us. Oof, I felt that so strong. They are a little bit too influenced by the alpha males, alpha people, omega, I don't know what they are calling themselves these days. There is a matter of respect I saw, like you are going to be the part of a comparison with a social situation. A friend of you is going to be disrespected and they're going to feel so sad about it. This is like a clear message for a specific person maybe. And they're going to be like, why they are treating in this way? And then they're going to address you like, like number one is not like that kind of a person. Number one is an amazing person. They don't feel like it. They don't see it like it. But why they are doing like... Some kind of a comparison that you're going to be the part of, but you're the one who happens to be winning of this comparison. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of thought about that later on, though. It's not just like, okay, they they preferred what kind of, preferred me. You're not going to feel like it. You're going to feel like, why people are acting in this way? Like, why they have expectations in this way? You're going to have some thoughts like that. But please keep it to yourself. Don't share it with the people because they can actually use it against 
you in this way like the system is flawed and they don't want people like us unnecessary talks there's a in this part there is a evil eye this person is looking at everything from the negative side and it is showing basically let's see if there's any other love messages that i could see for a reason, love and friendship is really in, intertwined. Like they're all together. Like you cannot separate it from one another. I think the friendship circles and you know the talks with the friends are going to be more important than the flirts and the actual relationships. For a proper relationship or some kind of a date, I think you have to wait for a while. Not because you are not wanted or unloved or anything like that. Again, I have to repeat myself, like it is waiting for the right time. Somebody is just like planning something for a really long time and they want it to be perfect. But they didn't share that thing with you. And I think it is a mistake. To be honest with you, I'm going to put my comment on it. It is a mistake to think for other person. But they think that it is true. They think that it is correct thing to do. And they're just like, oh, no, I'm going to plan this for us. And they are just like planning this event maybe, planning this date and they want it to be perfect because they feel like if it is perfect, you cannot say no, you cannot refuse it. This person could be a little, just a little older than you or maybe they have a different kind of an experience in life. Like sometimes they can be younger, but they have more experience. Like this person has seen a little bit too much and maybe they have the anxiety of those kind of things and that is why they want to do the right thing at the right time. Not saying that this person has a lot of relationship experience, but they have seen a lot of things from their friend circles. Maybe they have seen from their families. They have a certain belief and then you would like to act on it. Okay, that was it actually. Um, what I see over there, there's a person who happens to be maybe a single parent. They are holding a child, they are looking to the child and they are looking to the future and they would like to make a sense out of it. Maybe they are feeling a little struggling, like what is going to happen. They cannot see it now. But it doesn't mean that they will not going to see it like never. They will see it. But at the right time. Again, the whole poll is talking about like at the right time things will sort it out. But the friendship wise, I think you need more positive influence. So please talk to the people that you know that they are really positive. Like not toxic and fake positive but you know they are the ones who are just like finding a solution to the situations they are just like bright-minded looking to the future with the bright eyes even though future looks like shit can happen yeah i know that but they have a plan they have an understanding they have hopes and wishes as much as you have if you combine yourself with those people and if you share your thoughts with this right kind of person specifically you're going to align yourself with that kind of an energy and it is going to help you you know but if you align yourself with like nobody loves us nobody wants us system is against us then you're going to align yourself with that person and you're going to lower yourself down so please don't do that to yourself no need for it that was all i hope you enjoyed this reading and i hope to see you in the next one bye Hello number two, this is your reading. Let me put a little water before I start everything. This was more smooth than the other one. Okay, I saw a date. There's a date.
they, there's a date and everybody is so excited about it. Oh my God, it's happening. Finally, it's happening. Do you know how it feels like? Two people like each other for a real long time and they are not speaking or they are not taking an action and everybody knows about it. They are just like, oh my God, why they are doing it? Like, they like each other. Like, why they are acting in this way? They are feeling so invested in your story. They're going to feel so happy when they heard about like this date this union even like when you guys are for our sake there there are some people who are going to be like okay let's give it a shot so we have a relationship when you guys are just like having that kind of a thought people are going to be so excited they're going to be like finally you too finally attraction is too much and they see that and they're going to feel so happy for you so uh, what i saw from the beginning is like people are going to be so happy for your like relationship status, they're going to feel good for you because you're having a date. It's not like a negative thing. I didn't see the negative thing in here. That is good. Honestly, that is good. I saw some kind of an intimacy. Surprise intimacy. Maybe like for argument's sake, you're going out for a date with this person and you don't go intimate at the first date. Think again. Think again. It's going to be a surprise to you and to the other person. I think it could be in a place that everybody can see. Or not. No, I'm not saying that everybody is going to watch it, no. But, you know, the location could be a little dangerous. But nobody is, like, acting weird. Nobody is, like, being weird. Like, you're kissing this person in a pub. No one is going to be like, ooh, did you see that? They are not going to stare at you. They are not going to watch you. They're going to be like a grown-up. <laughs> They're going to be like, okay, don't look at there. Like, why are you looking at there? I felt like that. I don't know. Some people are too invested. Yeah, that's what I felt. With the good intentions, though. With not like a bad intentions. They're not feeling bad for you, like... I hope they die. No, they don't feel like it. <laughs> they want you to be happy. And you will be happy. You will be happy. That's, of course, just like one message for a specific person, maybe. I saw somebody is asking about you. You don't hear about it yet because it is not the right time. But when you hear about it, you're going to feel so excited about it. This is like an internet friend, possibly. You have like people that you follow mutually, but you are not talking. They are going to ask your mutual friend about, you know, they're going to ask about you. And your friend is going to be like nice. They're going to say nice things about you. And even this person is going to offer to introduce this person to you. And you are going to have a conversation, maybe online. It could be like, hey, by the way, I have a friend who would like to know about this and that, but this is a, this is not the real thing. Like, they just would like to have a conversation, of course. And for argument's sake, you're living in a town. They are living in another town. Your mutual friend is going to come up to you and say to you online, maybe, like, hey, uh, we need some information about this city. Can you help my friend about that? You know? They can find the help by themselves. Come on, there's something called internet. There's something called Google. They can check it out. <laughs> but they are just going to use it as like an excuse to have a conversation with you. Oh, is that street nearby to the that other street that I'm asking for? Like you're going to be like, that's the... I mean, you can figure it out when you come back here. Like, whatever, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, it's not that difficult to figure it out. But you're going to just, like, play coy, I guess. In this one, I can read the situations a little bit more detailed. I don't know why. In the other one, it was, like, the feelings and why people were feeling in a certain way. In this one, it's, like, events, the messages, the action itself you know what i mean in this one there is more potential for the love to be honest with you 
and the action for the love. Yeah, that will be better. The other one also had the potential of it, but this one is like people are act acting on it. They are not waiting anymore. I see a love story, like somebody is inviting other person to a certain place, maybe as like a friend, but it is turning into something else. I don't know. It could be different for everybody. Some people hate me included, like using friendship as like a bait for the love interest. Like it doesn't have to be in that way. Maybe this person is going to be direct, like, hey, let's go for a date. I'm at the town. Let's go for a date. They're going to be so honest. But I felt like so strong. Like this person is not living at the same place with you. Like why I felt in this way? Like I'm at the town. Now I'm at the town. Let's go somewhere. Why? Interesting. I don't see like a long distance relationship. Like, the situations are so open for a change. Like, for argument's sake, you have a beautiful date with this person who happens to be not living at the same place with you, okay? And then you would like to see each other again, but, you know, you are waiting for any other kind of a visit, or maybe you have to be the one who has to visit. That thing, I didn't see. That thing, like, come and go, I didn't see. I think something is going to change with the locations and everything. Like, at first, it is going to be like... We were not living at the same place, but at the second, it is going to be like, okay, we are living at the same place. Maybe it could be a relocation, like this mutual friend of yours is going to introduce you. Hey, my friend is moving into your city. Can you help them? It could be something like that too, because I didn't see a lot of back and forth. What I saw like at first is going to be different where you guys are living. At the second, it's not going to be a problem whatsoever. I'm not going to have like sleepless nights about like where's your love and what you're doing. Long distance can do that to people. I saw like a bouquet of flowers which is talking about like an offer of a love. Like it is written all over in this bowl like even if it doesn't happen in the way that I am explaining now, it's just an example, by the way. You don't have to take it seriously. Like, even if it doesn't happen in, in the way that I'm explaining, you're going to receive some kind of an offer for love, like maybe a date. Somebody is going to ask you for a date, but using a mutual friend. That is what I felt. Like, at the beginning of everything, like, when I was, like, going to do a love reading, I picked the candles and everything I was like okay I'm going to do the love reading but I felt like no this is not just about the love this is about the friendships as well I think your friendship situations are going to be enlightened maybe you're going to have better friends now this year you can have better friends honestly like the plans that you're going to do with the friends are not going to be like a chore it's not going to ruin your life it is not going to question every single bit of it you're going to enjoy that sometimes it does like planning a trip with a friend have you ever tried that i don't want to have that no thank you anymore <laughs> but you know it could be really problematic sometimes you're not going to have those kind of problems it's going to be easy for you aligning with the people is not going to be difficult i hope that you would align yourself with the right kind of people that was the message that i gave at the number one too but I feel like in this poll, there are more positive situations that are going on. Even though some gossips and, you know, shady negative things can happen, it's not going to be like so negative. It's not going to be like a, hold on a second, our friendship, I have to question everything. You are not going to have that. What is going to happen in this thing is like, okay, we had a disagreement they might have their own opinions about a subject and then you're going to move on like no one is going to question the foundation of the friendship you know what I mean sharing secrets with a person like this person is like a really close friend or they're going to become a really close friend with you 
maybe you don't have that kind of a connection at this moment, this specific moment, I mean. Like, maybe you had, like, really good best friends back at the time, but now maybe distance was a problem or, you know, any kind of other reason. They, like, got married and they had children and they have different experiences in life. Like, now there's some kind of a distance between you and them. I think you're going to bond with somebody that is going to be at this similar place in life and you're going to have so much fun with this person you're going to share the secrets and they're going to respect you you're going to respect them a lot of respect i see i didn't see negativity for example they are not listening your secrets to use it against you for example they are having like the good intentions and they are going to show it to you if you invite them once, they're going to invite you twice. You are not going to be like not seeing this person's social groups like five years later. No, you're going to be included into the certain places at day one. At like a normal speed, not like so fast, like a red flag or something. But you're going to feel included in this friendship. You are not like pushing too hard to get the attention of this person. To become like a good friends. Have you ever heard like the phrase of like not being the best friend of your best friend? You're not going to have that in this one. I saw a workplace. Like, do you know what I saw? To be honest with you, I saw, <laughs> I saw the f copy machine. <laughs> Why did I see that? A copy machine, everybody's waiting around it. I don't know what they're waiting for it. But they're going to have some kind of a talk. It will be beneficial for them. I saw a person who was a little maybe overweight, but not in a way that, you know, threatening the life. Uh, this person is going to share some information with you. You're going to find it so beneficial, okay? They're going to share this information with the good intentions. And you're going to, okay, thank you for saying that. I didn't know that. Thank you. It will be good for you. Really, really good for you. And then another kind of a talk, another kind of a, you know, friendship is going to be starting after that. Like a colleague is going to turn into a friend maybe. I saw like some people are taking bus to go a place like it could be let's gather together to go to this place and that place and everybody's taking the bus and even itself like that taking bus part is like an event you know it's gonna be fun entertaining you know the group activities that you're going to be included they are going to bring so much joy to you that you would like to do it again you're going to feel excited about it. Even if you are like an introvert, you don't want to spend so much time with people or maybe you feel like you are drained when you've spent some time with the other people, you're, you're going to feel like, okay, you know what? Those people are not bad. I can, I can, you know, include them into my comfort zone. You're not going to feel negative next to them, so it is not going to be a problem. Okay. This candle is burning a little slower than the other one, the yellow ones. That's what I felt. I saw fruits. Like maybe you guys are going to a farmer's market, buying fruits, making something with the fruits, like sharing some recipes, do, making some cocktails, mocktails. You know, on the Instagram, there are some beautiful pictures that you can see, like some beautiful accounts that like they are creating like beautiful drinks and everything. You are going to try that out. But it is for the people, you know, it is for the people, not just for you. It is not just like you are the one who's being alone and having those kind of things for yourself. Of course it could be, but this one is going to be a little different. I'm going to cook for my friends. I'm going to cook for my date. I'm going to bake for them.
you know, I felt comfortable in this school. I felt like everything is going so smoothly. Slow maybe, yeah. Copy. But so smooth, like, okay. What is going on? You will feel like, okay, everything is sorting itself out. Why everything happened in the way that happened before? You will have that feeling like, why you were feeling like maybe negative for a friendship. It ended. It, you, will, you will have an understanding of, okay, I understand why it ended now. Why life took that person away from me so life can actually give me other people. You're going to have that kind of a feeling. Maybe some friendships died down because so you can have something so much better. You will have that feeling. <gasps> okay. I was trying to put in here, but it just like skipped. All right. Maybe a friendship ended abruptly. You were not expecting that. Like you were getting ready to see your friend for argument's sake. But, you know, at the place when you went to talk to your friend, your friend was like a little bit negative and then some things have happened to end the friendship and now, now you don't have the friendship. Like you were thinking, okay, I was going to see my friend and now... What the hell have happened? That kind of an abrupt ending. You will have an understanding of like why it happened in that way. Could be important for you, honestly. Is there anything else? This one is more unified. I think this year you're going to have like better chances in love and the friendships. It will please you a little bit more. You're going to feel more included with life you're going to feel more aligned with life and the people and the negativities are going to die down and you're not going to feel that anymore not much maybe last year was kind of eh, but this year is going to make it up to you like when it comes to the friendships and love you're going to feel like okay i understand why it happened in that way i know now why it happened in that way you will feel better yeah that was the things that I saw from this poll. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye.